Hello everyone, I'm Adonix here and today I want to share with you some quick tips uh, over how to draw sine waves uh, using Inkscape. Inkscape is my uh, favorite vector drawing tool and I use it extensively in my career uh, when I need to draw some fake waveforms to make a customer or my in my studies my teachers happy. <laughs> so in this case uh, I was trying to write an article on, and uh, show how a uh, simple uh, unregulated uh, DC power supply works. So on this side, obviously we have the transformer, which have the AC input. Then here we have the rectifier bridge that makes half waves out of the AC input. And then on the right side, you have the, uh, in this case, we don't have any regulators. We just have a bleeding uh, resistor that helps uh, with the uh, uh, output level. Somehow uh, it makes it uh, constant but with a lot of uh, ripples if we don't have any regulation uh, on the on this side so anyway uh, let's see how we can draw it first of all we need the axis obviously to draw the axis uh, no, beforehand uh, you would need to most likely to enable the page grid because it helps you with drawing um, so I will uh, just draw the y-axis here just a simple line then uh, this is my line I can go to the stroke properties and make it a little bit thicker that's much better now and I want to add the arrows I want that to have some arrows on the top side oh oops I did it wrong and the arrow went to the bottom but <laughs> doesn't matter we can just rotate this one uh, then we copy paste this and we can also rotate this and uh, there you go there you have a nice uh, Cartesian coordinates for your uh, drawing now uh, one tip here you can select both of them and put them in a group with this tool and now you can move them together and you can copy paste them uh, at the same time so you have you can have multiple uh, um, Cartesian coordinates of the same size. So, uh, so let's see how we can do draw the um, the waveform itself. It all it starts with a, a straight line. You can uh, draw a straight line, and now the magic is here. You have to select this uh, node tool. You you need to select a line, and add as many nodes that you want. For example, if I want. Uh, uh, just one cycle I need to have uh, five nodes so I have added uh, five nodes and the good thing is it will uh, uh, displace them in the uh, equal distances now let's make this uh, red in this case now I need to select the right nodes to uh, create my uh, sine wave so I'm selecting this one right here I will hold control because if you don't hold control then it will snap to the um, first grid so at this point I, I did something wrong I had all of them selected I just need to select one of them okay I'm holding control I draw to my uh, desired amplitude and let go the same thing with this node yeah that looks fine to me so nice now we have kind of a triangle uh, file form what we need to do is to select this node now and this one while uh, holding shift I have this node and this node uh, selected uh, then um, uh, you can also uh, do this individually to every node that you want so uh, the trick is you have to find this uh, uh, make selected nodes symmetric and click on that now you have a perfect uh, sine wave then uh, you can also play with the uh, size and frequency and amplitude again so I want to put this here yeah that looks quite good to me now the problem is it's, it's over this axis uh, line I want to set it to back I will select it again I will use this tool to uh, selection lower selection to the bottom yeah, now it goes on the behind yeah so if you want the half bridge it's also quite uh, easy you select the node tool again you select this this node and you just pull it up uh, while hunt, while uh, keeping control uh, key now you have a half bridge 
And if you want a ripple uh, kind of paper, all you need to do is to select all the bottom notes while holding shift key. Uh, one, two, three. Now I can draw, uh, move all of them together. Now that's my ripple paper. I can then, uh, for example, cop uh, copy paste it and have it like this. Uh, when you are zoomed in, it's it's a bit, uh, there's a gap here, but it doesn't matter if you zoom out, it's not visible. It's good enough, I would say. Yeah. And you can also uh, increase the width uh, and the heat, uh, height of your um, axis. But uh, for that, you, you have to make sure that you have disabled this uh, scaling uh, properties. Otherwise, the line will get thicker. So I think I have to disable all of them. Yeah, that, uh, that's better now. Okay, I hope you learned something and this is useful to you. Um, please make sure to hit like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, I will have more tips with uh, uh, Inkscape for electrical engineers in the future. Bye-bye.